Anyway, I think this is where I'm diving, but let's just get this waypoint first. Go. Let's go diving. Let's go diving. I totally missed that person. Ah, yes, I think I'm going this way. Hi, challenge. Bye, challenge. You're probably going to require me to uh, run into things, like collect the particles. Uh, I'm not a very skilled diver. This whole camera work thing is not for me. There's a Hydraculus. Where? These things are so beautiful. Thanks. Ooh. Oh my. This place is pretty. Uh, again, sir, please treat me kindly. I have like a super duper unoptimized party. Um, I really think I need to change myself out for Ayatol because I'm going to get absolutely obliterated. <laughs> it probably should go the other way around, wow. but we're here now. I'm not going to play around with it. I uh, probably shouldn't go in the hot boiling water. That is so not a good idea. This place looks cool though. Hello, this is my first time meeting you. Please treat me kindly. Oh my. Searing tide pulsing beneath the mountain. Emperor Fire Just the same as every other boss. Got it. Be still. Kami Sato up. Suiyu. Take flight. And down he goes. Emperor's resolution. Okay, I wonder who needs that. Okay, so maybe I should leave Ayato on the party, but like that's no fun. I kind of want the traveler to be the one exploring the land like I used the um, Dendro traveler. But she's just so weak until I can get to that domain and get the thingies, which yeah, I should probably be doing because it's Sunday. Respawning. Um... So it's there, right? Well, let's just make it to there and then go across. Yes, I'm missing waypoints and shit. Don't even worry about it. That's just a problem for later. Let's just get where we need to go. <sighs> I ought to leave I the party. I'm just too weak at the moment for anything. This is not where I'm going. This is where I'm going. Basically, you just attack him as you normally would. Yeah, I get it. You try to make things overly complicated, but if you just attack something, it will die. Because you should already be focusing on elemental reactions. That should literally be the whole point of your fighting style. So, it should come on organically. <gasps> Why is there a waypoint in close succession? <gasps> These aren't underwater! Oh my god, they're not underwater. They look like squishy jellyfish. So I assumed they were underwater. Well, I get why they want you to get nine now. Because they are in packs of three. We are well on our way with this challenge. Yay. Anyway, this is not the one I want. Any more flowers? Mint does not count as a flower. Mint is a herb. What are y'all doing? What is that? Where is it? 
I must be looking right at it, but I can't see it. Is it underwater? We'll come back. Hi! My apologies! Move. Volume, water volume detection crystals. This mystical crystal con construct seems to have originally been designed to test the dampness of its surroundings, but it seems that it can only detect its own dampness and react accordingly. In situations where it is continually affected by hydro, maybe something nice and unexpected might occur. Okay. But where do you want me to move it to? Be still. Tap. Did I already do what I needed to do? Oh. Oh, you can move it once it's... Ah. Well, we're gonna get cooked, Paimon. I can't fix that. Oh my god, we're actually being cooked. Holy shit, that's what I said should have happened down the bottom. Wind, hear me. Gameplay tutorial. My miraculous hydrograna. Naturally, a hydro abundant nation like Fontaine will have such mysterious phenomena as hydrograna. After you collect three hydrograna, they will combine into a hydro core that will continuously apply hydro to the surrounding environment. Even if you have not yet collected three of them, characters can cause hydrograna to grow if a hydro core is continuously affected by hydro. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Do you, do you do things? Oh, do I just need multiple ones of these? From where? I don't want to go back into the scorching water. It was painful. I don't really understand, though. I don't really understand. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the metal from there if I'm continuously heated? How do we stop it from heating me? You're not the traveler. Hmm. Oh, you have to interact with it. I can't just pick it up. Oh my fucking god, would you fucking climb it? What the hell is wrong with you? Climb! Are you gonna make it not kill me? That's not even remotely what I was after. Cascade! Is there a third one? Somewhere? I need to make it not crisp me. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Whirling snow! <sighs> really? Lying. Let's go. Shut up and attack! God, you're useless. You're fucking useless. Oh no, I can't attack because I'm being assaulted by the thorns. Well, you can't get rid of the thorns unless you attack. Did you think about that, Daluk? No, you didn't. You just sat there like a bitch. Okay, I can't just probably gonna die getting there. How is that but not the, the solution? Was water <sighs> Whatever. This sucks. Where's my damn statue? Ta 
how am I, like, I don't understand how I'm actually supposed to get the metal down the bottom if I'm just going to die every time I try to get them. It doesn't really make that much sense. Because these things look like they're only used to get the treasure chest. The temperature of the water looks irrelevant. Struggle is real. What the hell? Why are you sending me over here? Excuse, excuse me? What? Hello? What are you doing? Where am I going and why? Uh, hello? Okay. Can I please go back because I wasn't done with that area? Hello? So I just can't get this Hydroculus. Okay, that's stupid. Does that do something? Right. Okay. Whatever you say. Wait, that's it? We were just here for the Hydroculus? No, this is an underground area. I don't need to be here. I just want to go back to where I was. I don't want to be here. Take flight. No. To ashes. Go as one. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't... That, okay, I thought that's what we were doing to free you. I guess not. Uh, okay. Are you guys holding Escape. it captive? Oh, no, there's something here. I don't know what this is, but there's a thing here. Whirling snow. Need a hydro core condensed from a hydro granite. Right. Well, those are bombs. Oh. I don't understand. What's the point? I don't understand what the point is. That doesn't help me unlock the thing? What? Huh. I'm very confused. Be still. Over here. Except... 
let's... Oh, no, here we go. He's on me. All of that for a hydro thingy? I'm feeling a little washed out. Oh, the water's boiling. I did not realize. The spring water gushes forth from underground. Oh, so we're not going to die in hot water anymore? Well, that's pleasant. Iron Viscount, spin to win. I just want my reward, please. Okay, well that was rude. I don't know how to fight you, sir. I don't have any abilities. Um. Hi. That barely damages you. God, this is painful. Wait, do I just hit his face? I'm not sure why he got like super damaged before. He's got a shield. That's unfortunate. This is the slowest, most painful battle I've had in this game to date. Jesus. Understand what makes him take extra damage. Because it doesn't seem to matter where I hit him. He seems to be taking the same amount of damage no matter what. He doesn't take any extra damage from his underside, as you would kind of assume. This is the worst battle ever. Like, even his soft underside doesn't take any extra damage? How does that function? I don't really understand how you work, sir. Do I go get another crab because mine's out of juice? What is... what's happening here? Where did he go? Nope, that makes no difference. Okay, we're just going to have to do this a slow way. Oh, this is pathetic. Do you have any instructions? Because this is not working. You will sometimes see these energy-emitting blocks underwater. Touching them will cause your character to absorb energy within restoring aquatic stamina and HP. Yet, really not my problem right now. My problem is to figuring out how to cause damage to this crab because sometimes you cause mass amounts of damage and other times we barely inflict any pain on him and I just don't understand. Your rules make no sense. This is the dumbest thing I've done all day! This is so stupid! This cannot be how you do it! Oh my god! 
It just doesn't matter where I hit him. It just doesn't do any damage. Almost there. Jesus, that was stupid. <laughs> I'm really hating this underground area. Like, super hating it. I'm not having fun at all. What do you do differently in that situation? I've got the ability from the crabs. Regaining it didn't change anything. I pro proved that by doing it. And it didn't do anything. I hit his shell, I hit his claws, I hit his face. I'm really not quite sure what I'm required to do here. It's control, not a button we're using anymore? No? Okay. Game keeps taking me to other places. Where is that? I don't know. I don't even know where I am. The hell are you? Enter. Enter what? Uh, can I go back, please? I wasn't done down there. Oh, we somehow called the. I'm really confused on how we did that. Can I go back? There's actually a lot of stuff that I needed down there. God damn it. I have no idea how we accomplished this. I don't know what we did. Was it the hydro thingy? I don't, I don't know. Oh, let me guess. I'm not gonna be able to whack these. Come here. Apparently your services are required. I love murdering creatures so I can get their abilities. Okay, well, I guess there's no going back to wherever the hell I just came from. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Never mind that there was a bloody waypoint there. Um, can I be taken back? Can you please take me back? I think there was a waypoint under there, though I may be incorrect. It's a very long journey to repeat, though. Very, very, very long journey. I didn't know what I was entering. I just, I saw a ladder that went up. So I thought we just were climbing the ladder in a really, really weird, awkward way. I, I didn't really understand what was happening. I still don't understand what's happening, to be honest with you. Must have been that. That must have cooled the waters, I guess. And then we went across and we went into the current. I'm all fine with all these things. I don't think there's anything else to discover here. It was the other chamber I wasn't ready to leave. Oh, hi. Thanks. Didn't even see you there. <laughs> I was just going forward. I can't even move my camera. So what's the point in letting me move? What, what does what, what do I gain by moving my character? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, it's further down. The thing is further down? Where? Where that is, because the current won't let me go where I would like to go. Oh, and this is no longer pushes me out. I've got to go out manually. <laughs> okay. So where's a oh, high? Oh, that's right. I have to die to the ground. Forgot about that. Do I need an archer? <sighs> of course we do. Why wouldn't we need an archer? In the name of the princess in. Who was I to think that we were going to get away without an archer in the party? Oh my god, it's you again. Oh, what have I done? Well, it's Anur and Lumis Paimon. We meet again. Hi, Salsa. We were just wondering if you would be around after we saw the canvas. I actually didn't even see the canvas. We parted ways and hurried back then. How have you been? Did you get scolded by your parents when you go home? Ha <laughs> ha. I was studying at my desk when mom and dad came home, so they didn't have any excuse to scold me. Although I was actually studying hard, I'm just putting on an act. Pretending to be studying, pretending to be studying was really tiring. I put up my best performance so mom and dad can't see through it. Well, you can consider acting to be a future career path. I think studying hard is easier than practicing how to act. <laughs> studying is so tiring, but acting isn't any better. Why is my life so hard? Oh yeah, you're just so hard done by a child. But now that I think about it, did mom and dad truly not realize that I was just acting or were they just pretending not to know? What a complicated family relationship. I thought long and hard, but I still can't figure things out. I don't have enough observation skills to realize the truth. So I came out to sketch again. I thought that I could practice my observation skills once I found a sketching place with a beautiful view. But it turns out those evil green guys laid their traps here too. Ugh, this is so annoying. Even if it's a trap, as long as there's a treasure chest, style, it's not even a real trap. Hmm. How about rearranging it like last time? I don't even know what we're rearranging. What are we talking about? I don't even know what we're referring to. Uh, we only adjusted the item positions and everything immediately felt right. Um, okay. Just like how Tildalga doesn't grow on weathered roads, rainbow roses won't thrive on underwater riverbeds either. Objects made of different materials also have environments they are suited to, and crystal devices do not go well with muddy ground. Crystal devices do not go well with muddy ground. An artificial environment. Yes, now. The evil traps are all gone. I'm the best. I don't really know what evil traps you're referring to. It sure looks a lot better now. But all we did was just change the positions of items. It doesn't seem difficult at all. Hmm, Paimon wonders why some people arrange things in such a strange way to begin with, and they pick places with the beautiful scenery. Exactly! Paimon wonders if it's because they have a sense of beauty or a lack of it. Paimon thinks we should get Salsa to teach the rookie members of the Adventurers Guild the art of item arrangement. Really? I have so much to tell those members of the evil, evil organization, but they don't really listen to me. That's because you're a narcissistic child. Wow, did you really go to the Adventurers Guild to send a complaint? Mm-hmm. I talked to Catherine, but she's really strange. All she said was, Ad Astra Absask, and she never told me which member was behind this. She tells me that too. 
Pam's pretty sure she says other things. Mm, maybe it's because you're too young, so no one really takes you seriously when you're asking questions or giving opinions. It could also be the way you're giving them. Honestly. Pam, does Catherine listen to you? Yes. But I'm so much older than you. You're basically a kid. But I'm not a child. Don't treat me as if I don't know anything. I know a lot. <laughs> um, you say that, but... I'm a big girl. Not only do I have a lot, I have a lot of things... Sorry, do I know a lot? I have a lot of things to do. Uh, I have to get home. I really want to play with you and Palmer a little longer, but I have to go now. She leaves with her canvas and small box. She left in a hurry as always. We didn't even say goodbye properly this time. Palmer wonders if we'll meet her again. I'm sure we will if we do decide to uh, check out the environment to the extent that we have been checking it out. I'm still half tempted to go get the uh, waypoint, but the other half of me is like, it really, really doesn't matter. So let's just not call it a day. 